My point also completely slipped by you, detective. In the gun. Hey, pal, I appreciate it if you don't point that thing at me, okay? Don't get cheeky with me, detective. I simply wish to show it to you. And? You, you've got a point in showing it to me? Because I don't... I, I don't even have a, a penny on me. So you ought, ought to... Eh, out of luck, pal. Well, that's an unusual reaction of being shown a piece of evidence. Well, it is a... It is a gun, dude. That knife is one of the... It's one of the Moida weapons, right? Yes, it, it is the weapon that took Mr. Faraday's life. Oh, there's blood stuck on the, on the blade and it's still fresh. You're in the homicide di division, correct? You'll be seeing a lot more blood. Even if you're not... Even if you cut, yeah. Even if it's not your cup of tea, you might as well get used to it. Ah, but the sight of blood isn't something I want to get used to. Don't think of it as seeing blood, but rather as seeing the representation of the killer. If viewed in that sense, you you begin to see how the killer operates. You're right, pal. Thanks for a for a fresh perspective. I feel so much bad better now. <sighs> I'm glad somebody does. Do you have any insight on this detective gunship? Well, I guess we can talk to Bad over here. Detective Bad, do you have any thoughts on this case? Very well. Oh, um, I think we already had this conversation. <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay. Um, yeah, I. What else is there to do, man? I guess, see if there's anything in here. Oh! Faraday has something in his left hand. I didn't notice that. His hand is all blacked out in here, see? I wonder what it could be. Hmm. If you look closely. This is a blot... A, a blotching... Pass and resembles the, an, ink, an ink stain. Uh, an ink stain? Yes. I usually get ink on my own hands when I use a when I use my feather pen. Who uses feather pens anymore? That's so like Victorian Elizabethan times. I, and I'm not talking about the current queen either. A feather pan? I've never seen one before. Are you sure you're not making up, making that up, pal? Well, you don't really see pens in his. You don't really see feather pens in Edward's office. Mr. Rell's cause of death was being shot. Correct? That's what we think, but it's ha it's hard to tell with him lying face down. Death is bad enough, but it's truly lamentable that someone would try to hide the truth. Are you, are you sure that they were trying to hide something? 
I can't confirm Mr. Rill's cause of death with, with his body p position like that. Detective Bad, I'd like to examine the bodies in further detail, if possible. Vasis, are, are you not able to form a theory with them the way they are? I believe an examination of the bodies is vital to finding the perfect evidence, don't you? Um, I suppose you do have a point, though... Hurry up and, and get on, Reese's! Wabby! Yes, sir! We've taken enough photos of, of the scene, sir! And uh, there you have it. Do you, do you not know approve? Of course not. What? Investigation of the crime scene isn't the work of the detective, so don't touch a thing. Hey, big fella, turn over the bodies for me, will ya? Okay. Forgive me, Mr. Faraday, sir. Gumshoe, do not get involved emotionally. Remember, you're a detective. Yes, sir! Understood, sir! Wow, oh, um... But Mr... But Raoul wasn't shot through the heart, though. If he was, it, the, uh, the, um, the hole will be on the other side of his chest. And, uh... And Mr. Faraday has a cut in his arm, which is on the right. So, yeah. Anyway, let's examine the bruises, the cuts. There's a there's a knife wound in the chest here. See. I wonder if the wound matches the knife from Mr. Bell's holding. Wabby! Yes, sir! Verifying now, sir! Make it quick. From the looks of things, one could deduce that the knife Mr. Bell is holding is what killed Mr. Faraday. Wait, Mr. Macarell has his eyes open. That's cre that's creepy, man. There's something in his breast pocket. It's a fountain pen, like the ones that stains his hand. Hey, you know, I always keep a pencil behind my ear because Detective Bad is always telling me. You should always write your name on everything you own. Yes, somehow you you do strike me as quite a forgetful individual. Aw, oh, pal, why you gotta go and say that? Shots in the chest. It takes some guts to, to fire a gun in a courthouse. I mean, I'm a... I've been a detective up for a whole week and I still haven't fired a single round yet. Um, aren't there any, there aren't any brand marks in his clothes. That must mean... Wait, burn marks? A round grows very hot as it's this time. Is it just... the blah! This Discharged from a firearm. Therefore, burn marks 
usually left when his shots is fired in point blank range. Here we go, Mr. Mr. Realm must have shot from at least a yard or two away. You sure know a bunch of stuff for your age, pal. Apparently, this detective has as much common knowledge as your everyday marsupial. N let us n let us n now try to understand how the two men died. First, Mr. Faraday took the gun and the knife out, out from today's trial living. Excuse me. Then he aimed the gun at Mr. Vell and fired. However, Mr. Vell managed to grab the knife and counter Mr. Faraday while being shot. Then the two men fell together where they stood. That is my theory in any case. And before you guys say anything, I'm not gonna do that meme, alright? What a... What a crazy way to go. Still, something about that explanation doesn't seem right. Hmm. I believe now I, I have a firmer grasp on what happened here. Someone want to check out... Yeah, I think we had this conversation already. Wait a minute. Oh. If Mr. If Rao had If Faraday had the knife in his If Faraday had the gun in his right hand, shouldn't Mac Rell have a hole in the left side of his shirt? And and Mac Rell, since he's holding the knife in his also holding the knife in his right hand, shouldn't Faraday have a have a cut in the left side of his shirt? Then why would um then why would um the cut and the bullet hole be on the opposite side? of where it should be. A figurative fingerprint a gun leaves on a bullet when fired. Every gun leaves its own unique ballistic markings. Therefore, by looking at the markings on the bullets, you can tell which gun they came from. Yeah, it is! Of course! I, I already knew all about that, pal. Maybe you'd be better off going back to the academy. The academy. Eh, come on, sir. Cut me some slack, will ya? I don't want to go to, you, to the academy, daddy. I'm not your father. I love you, daddy. If you guys watch Phineas and Ferb, you... You would get that. That's from one of the episodes, I forget which. <laughs> so the bullet was fired from the gun that had felled Mr. F Mr. Rill. Dude, his eyes are open! Why? <laughs> Looks like Mr. Faraday was stabbed with a knife on that Mr. Rell is holding. Yosh! What's wrong, detective? My stomach my stomach started to hurt from thinking about just being stamped. Just keep your mind on the case, alright? Let's make some logical sense here. The fountain 